any good on the long run for the long run on the long run for the long run. guys welcome welcome back to the channel yeah guys tell me why i woke up so early around 5 a.m for it to rain yesterday night i was like ah i need to go for a walk we don't tell when i work out and i picked out my workout outfit like leggings and um, t-shirt to wear for my morning walk set my alarm i kept my phone here instead of close to my bed there i was like okay if i keep it here it will force me to stand up and off my alarm here so i have to walk from my bed and off the alarm here so i did that only for it to rain it rained and rained and rained the time right now it's 7 25 and it's just stopped raining it's still like drizzling outside but it just stopped raining and i'm so angry that i woke up so early for nothing not really for nothing sha i did like my four dishes that we used last night and swept the house so yeah but i feel really tired and angry at the same time how do i wake up so early for it to rain <laughs> oh my goodness the time right now is to 10 and I woke up this morning so hungry for some weird reason. I don't know why. So hungry and to 10 already. So I think I'm going to make breakfast. I'm going to remove this pimple patch here. Ooh. Okay. I know <laughs> what you're about to say. This is a lot of food, like. But this is what I'm craving. Last night, all I could think about is this um, toast, ah, peanut butter and banana smoothie and this coffee. All I was thinking about. And this um, creamer that I use for my coffee, I made it yesterday. I saw it on TikTok and I ran yesterday to buy everything I need for the um, homemade coffee creamer so all i used was um condensed milk um, um almond milk and vanilla it tastes really really good but i think i did not add like a lot to my coffee so it's a little bit too bitter for me this is one kind of coffee i like i like sweet coffee but this one is a bit bitter but tasting the coffee creamer like that was so good like i just tasted small so good I mix everything together and I pour it into that um, jar that you saw. I kept this in my fridge and this morning I decided to use it. So yeah, that is how I made it. I saw it on TikTok and I wanted to try it. It's good. It's nice. Hmm.
I just got ready to do nothing. It's not like I'm going out. So I just wanted to look cute while I did my videos. So I did like no makeup makeup look. And I also filmed it for like Instagram and YouTube shorts. So I'm about to edit videos right now. I'm on my bed. I bought this coconut water for just one reason. Which is to make smoothie with it. And guess what? Somebody wants to go open it. He opened it. He drank small and left it there. So I'm trying to force myself to just drink everything right now because I don't have fruit to make smoothie with it. So instead of it to go to waste like that, let me just drink it like that. <laughs> I don't really like drinking coconut water just like that, but I guess this is what we are doing because I don't want it to go to waste. Seriously, today did not really go as I wanted it to go. I wanted to go out and get something, but today did not really go as I wanted it to go. So. I was just editing videos. I when I was doing my um, no makeup makeup look, I filmed it for TikTok and um, Instagram Reel, YouTube Shorts. So I edited that video. I edited the pictures I took. That was basically it. And I've been watching YouTube video. Today did not go as I go as I planned. As I as I hoped. Cleaning my face with this simple my cellar water. Normally, if I had, if I have like serious makeup done, I would wash my face. But this one is just something small, so I'm just going to clean it off first before I wash my face. After drinking this coconut water, I can't take my bath. This coconut water, I'm having mixed feeling. I don't know if I like it or not. What's up guys, so it's Thursday, the day after I started this vlog and yeah, yesterday I did not vlog at all. What was I even doing yesterday? Yesterday was just a very chill, relaxing day. So today, I don't feel like vlogging, so I'm just going to use this part of the video to do like answer some questions you asked me like... I think months ago, I wanted to go live and the life was so hard. I ran into a lot of problem going live, so I decided to just end the life. So I've not answered the question you sent me. So right now I'm going to answer those questions you sent me because I was like, oh, send me videos, send me questions for us to go live. Before you join, I will just be answering the questions you send before, you know, people come on the live. So that was it, but I ran into many, many technical issues so i just ended the life but i'm just going to answer this question instead of just leave this question unanswered so the first question here is how to cope in school and being a youtuber i as a freshman me when i started my youtube video i was already out of school so i don't know what to say about that but it's if you want to film videos like saturdays you don't go to school you can film videos then sundays you can take part of your day from studying to edit your videos i guess and yeah you can do there are lots of videos to film if, if you're talking about um video ideas for students there are lots of videos to film as a student a day in my life as a student what i wore to school for the whole week and um, what i eat as a student um hostel or tour um what is like being in the school you are what is like learning the course you're studying those are video ideas you can create as a student then editing whenever you are free you don't have classes you can take that time to a film video and yeah basically it and if you're a student don't think too much about your youtube channel if you're a student because you need time to study your book so don't think too much about youtube or anything i hope you get what i'm saying and I hope this thing is easy to understand the way I'm saying it because I'm not a student. I did not start my YouTube channel when I, why, when I was a student. So that's that. <laughs> so the next question is, let's talk about relationship. You never talk about that on your channel. Maybe it's because it's not one of your niche. But I would really like to hear one or two things about relationship from you. You are so right. This is not one of my niche and I don't know how to, you know, contribute to relationship talk but i would say relationship for me is basically like life there is up and there is down the most important thing i think is really important for a relationship to grow is love understanding respect and what again <laughs> i want to say money but people will think this take this the wrong way money and what again do we need for a relationship to grow Hmm. 
love you must love your partner for the relationship to grow if you don't love the person just imagine person where you ate it they stay with them for house it's going to be somehow if you don't like somebody seeing the person is going to get you angry and that relationship is not going to grow respect you need to respect your partner a man needs to respect his girlfriend wife or fiance a woman needs to respect the husband boyfriend or you know fiance or whatever so for a relationship to grow to you need respect you need to understand the person you are with if you understand somebody you know when the person is angry you know when the person is happy you know when the person needs something so yeah you need to understand your partner next question is any, anything you can just chit chat and help each other grow and share ideas so grow and share ideas as a small youtuber or growing youtuber like me how do you grow and how do you share ideas one thing i would say is do not do sub for sub see i've been so hesitant to say this because i feel like people are going to take it the wrong way but sub for sub will not do you any good on the long run for the long run on the long run for the <laughs> it should not do you any good for the long run because if you subscribe to my channel now and i subscribe to your channel and your channel is not basically what i enjoy in the sense that me i like vlogs i do not like pranks i do not like gaming channel i do not like um, you know those family channel you know those ones i don't really like that. i don't enjoy videos like that it's not my fault that i don't enjoy videos like that i enjoy lifestyle um, vloggers travel vloggers you get those are the kind of videos i like and yeah those are the videos i youtubers i would subscribe so just imagine a gaming channel so we have we both do um sub for sub me being a youtuber and me being a lifestyle um daily vlogger vlogger kind of youtuber and a gaming channel we both did sub for sub the person is going to get tired of my videos and me too i'll get tired of the video then we will stop watching each other's video the only thing is we help is just to increase your subscriber can't but your watch hours or your growth is not going to do you any good because the person does not really like your video it just did it for numbers you get so with time they will stop watching your videos the number will just be there and you are not contributing to the person's channel the person is not contributing to your channel because you don't watch each other's videos so that is that the only thing it helps is just to increase your subscriber count and not your watch hour so yeah the next thing i would say is to be consistent and have a particular time you post your videos i post videos three times a week sundays wednesdays and friday 12 p.m in the afternoon that is when i post my videos so when you when people know the time you post videos they will be expecting to see ah this person go down post video by this particular time i can go see whether or you know upload video so be consistent make sure to sometimes go outside your box yes yeah, sometimes go outside your box if you are always filming um, vlog, if you are always vlogging sometimes do sit down videos and see what your audience like and try to recreate more of the videos they like and sometimes change your editing and the way you film videos I think it will help to grow your channel too because many people here on YouTube they are creators and they want to see how people are editing how people are you know filming their videos to take um lessons so just change it because if they if people see that oh this person editing good they always change things they will come back to your video even if they don't even like what you are doing but they will come to your video for inspiration or things like that i don't know i feel so and sharing ideas i don't know how to share ideas if you want to you know if you are looking for ideas to videos to film for your channel like ideas i think i have a lot in my head just write to me and i will go through your channel and just see videos if you are not consistent you don't know what to film again just write me i will know i'll go through your channel and you know think of ideas for videos for you to film so that is that i think i've answered many of this question and this video is getting a bit too long yeah thank you so much for sending your videos i'm sorry for not you know answering these questions since i'm only getting to answer them now i'm very very sorry i think i'm going to do like a, another um q a like a proper q a not including it in any vlog so i'll do like a proper q a very very soon anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for staying till the end and also you know dropping your comments and yeah do not forget to like this video leave a comment down in the, in the comment section right now and subscribe to my channel if you've not please do that i'm begging you please subscribe 
and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye